Vikas Sethi, MD at uh, Sethi Finmat, uh, will will just join us uh, in the in 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 you know the next. Okay, he's he's with us, uh, Mr. Sethi. If you could just tell us what is your view on the market, where do you think markets are headed in uh, this uh, March series? Uh, yeah, Pankaj. As far as the markets are concerned, for today, after the recent strong rally which we have seen, the markets are consolidating. I think we could go down further, around 50 odd points on the Nifty, <clears throat> but that should be it. So as far as uh, the overall uh, direction of the markets are concerned, they continue to remain bullish. Uh, the factors to watch out for in the March series would be the outcome of the UP election. If BJP wins that, or if BJP is uh, able to form the government with any coalition also, that should be it. And that should uh, take our uh, markets higher to, say, cross the all-time highs. And the other event which one would need to look at would be the Fed meetings outcome on the 15th of March. For if they go with a rate hike, then certainly that could have a bearing on the markets. So these are the factors to watch out for. But then uh, overall, I think the markets would continue to be strong in the March series. What is your view on Bank Nifty? How would you look at it? Uh, Bank Nifty, again, actually, I think Bank Nifty also should do well. Most of the uh, banking stocks had done well over the past couple of days. Today, again, they are correcting a bit, but then that's part for the course. And I think the, as Nifty resumes its rally, it could be supported or it would be supported by uh, Bank Nifty with uh, the likes of uh, public sector banks like uh, State Bank of India or Bank of Baroda, PNB, they are expected to do well. Then even from the private sector banking space, I think ICIC Bank and uh, say Excess Bank or Yes Bank, Industry Bank, they also look good. So I think one would do well to buy into Bank Nifty in case of any declines in the markets. Top picks? Uh, from the banking space or from the mar market as a whole? The space that you would like. Uh, yeah, I feel today, uh, I think the pharma stocks have started doing well and I think we could uh, hear some positive news on specific pharma stocks. So from that point of view and from the point of view of uh, the results which have been recently declared by uh, some pharma companies, I think Aurobindo Pharma looks uh, good even after the uh, run-up which we have seen today. The other stock which uh, looks good is from the metal space. I think Hindustan Zinc looks good at the current levels. The stock has not done well uh, over the past few trading sessions. Today it is going up, but then uh, it's just gone up, and I think this rally should continue. So I would be bullish on even in Hindustan Zinc from the metal space. Right. Uh, in Hindustan Zinc, do you think it will again hit a new high? So it has done pretty well. Do you think it's, it's had that consolidation phase, and now it will start to outperform again? Uh, yeah, very true. This looks like that only. After the results, the stock uh, came down and then it consolidated at around levels of around 295, 300. And now it has started its uh, uptrend again. So I think this time uh, one could expect it to be crossing its uh, uh, its 52-week highs. And there could be positive news in the form of the uh, Vedanta Group announcing a major a big dividend or a buyback for the uh, government to exit this stock. So that could also be a positive trigger. So I continue to remain bullish. And uh, even all uh, the metal stocks, because of the, uh, say, uh, the upswing in metal prices, most of the metal stocks are also doing well. So that could also have a bearing on Hindustan Zinc. So all in all, I like the stock and I think uh, one could buy into the stock at the current levels. Right. Uh, what will be your view on uh, Reliance Industries? Do you think uh, the way it has performed, it can give great returns in 2017? Uh, yeah, I think it's, certainly it could certainly be stock of uh, 2017 among the large cap stocks. This could be the best stock to uh, be in. Uh, I see a clear upside of another 15 to 20 percent over the next one year in a stock like Reliance. Although it has gone up recently, so there could be opportunities. The stock could correct and that should be a good opportunity to buy into the stock. But then if you have a time frame of uh, one year, then I think you need not worry and you should buy this stock at every decline. And I feel uh, there is uh, upside till levels of uh, 1500 on the stock in the next one year. Right. Uh, but, uh, you know, because it's had that great run, should one wait for a correction as well? Uh, that's what I was uh, saying. Ki one would do well to buy into the stock in a staggered banner. Uh, one could uh, start buying into the stock because you can never predict the bottom or whether it would correct or not. But then uh, I certainly feel if the on a particular day when the sentiments in the markets are bad, the stock also would correct like the way we saw it correcting in the last hour of trade on the expiry day. So those kind of opportunities would be there. So one would be advised to buy into the stock on declines. But then one can start buying at these levels and use a staggered approach to accumulate more. 
Right. Uh, you know, what do you do with uh, something uh, like uh, Aurobindo Pharma? It's been very volatile, but when pharma sector goes up, you know, names like Aurobindo, Walkhart just start to fly. Do you think it's just a start of a move? Uh, yeah, that was what I said just now. I think Aurobindo would be one of the best picks in the pharma space. The stock had started moving up. Uh, the results were also good for this quarter, and they've recently got some approval for their uh, from the US FDA for one of their medicines, uh, which is uh, clearly being witnessed today in the markets. But then I think at the current levels, Aurobindo looks good and uh, there's a lot of upside left. So uh, I would advise investors to buy into Aurobindo Pharma from a long-term point of view. Right. Uh, in terms of any other large cap movers, you know, uh, so, uh, you know, we had TCS also, which did well. Infosys is doing well today. You think IT names because of the buyback, the buyback news that a lot of these companies are giving will be in focus? Uh, yeah, certainly. I think IT would be also one of the sectors to watch out for. TCS, already, TCS has already announced a buyback and with the kind of move which Infosys had taken over the weekend by uh, doing some changes in their articles of association, it's most likely that they would also come out with a, a significant buyback. There are uh, talks doing the round that the buyback could be as high as around 12,500, 13,000 crores. So, which would be pretty positive for the stock. Even HCL Tech is uh, planning to announce a buyback. So, that would again be a positive. So, most of these stocks are looking good. And uh, even one could look at, uh, say, names from the mid-cap IT space, which look good. I think uh, KPIT is one stock which I like at the current levels. And with the kind of price volume action which we saw on uh, Wednesday, uh, on Thursday, sorry, the last trading day. So, I feel this stock could be headed higher and I think uh, today, after the early morning uh, high, it has corrected to levels of, again, around 140, 141. So, I think we could buy at these levels. And I have a target of 175 rupees on this stock in the, in the next three months. Right. Uh, in terms of, uh, you know, IT names, do you think it's a structural move up? Because the underperformance has been very long or do you think that for buyback news, you know, they could just be in focus? Uh, no, I, I do not think uh, we have heard anything, so, any sort of a buyback to be announced by any mid-cap IT company. These are uh, performing well. They've not performed uh, uh, as far as their stock price is concerned over the past, say, few months or a few years. So some uh, rally is happening there. So I like KPIT, as I, which I discussed just now. The other stocks which I like from the mid-cap IT space would be in Hexaware, then uh, a nuclear software also looks good, which could be a major beneficiary of the digitization drive which the government has undertaken. Then even a persistent system or a mind tree also could be, could be looked at. Right. Uh, do you track escorts? It's not a part of FNO, but it's up 8% right now. It's at the day's high. Yeah, the stock has been doing well. It is there on my radar, but I think over the past few trading sessions, the stock has done exceedingly well. So I think one would uh, be advised to wait for some correction to buy into the stock. The stock is a fundamentally good stock and is a major beneficiary of the boom which is being witnessed in the rural economy. So uh, the stock should do well over a longer period of time. But then uh, if one wants to buy it, one would need to wait for some correction to buy into the stock. Right. But, you know, in terms of escorts, the way it has moved, do you think that uh, it will again make record highs? Um, uh, not entirely impossible. It could certainly do that. So the, the way the stock has been moving, we could certainly see new highs uh, pretty soon. So that is there. But then uh, the risk reward does not remain favorable at these levels. So I would uh, recommend uh, waiting for a correction to buy into the stock. Right. Uh, what do you do with REC PFC? These are stocks which nobody wanted to own about six months back, but in the last six, eight months, they've done particularly well. Yeah, both the stocks look good. They trade at very attractive valuations and uh, the power sector reforms also would be pretty positive for both these companies. Today, I think REC is down and that has mainly got to do with the dividend. It has gone ex-dividend today. Otherwise, it's, it's, it's the gone ex-dividend by seven rupees. Yeah, so, so that's the reason why we are seeing it uh, a bit down. But then uh, both these stocks look good and uh, they trade at uh, very good valuations. So even from a long-term point of view, they look good even after the recent run-up which we've seen. I think uh, one would be advised, advised to buy into both these stocks at the current levels. What is your view on Jet Airways? Last few days, it's up about 15%. Yeah, the stock has done well. I do not exactly know the reason why it has gone up so high. There could be some, there were talks of uh, their uh, getting into collaboration with some uh, German airline or some other airline. So that could also have been one of the reasons. And uh, I do not really have any news as far as uh, the spike in the stock is uh, 
consent which has taken off uh, which has uh, taken place recently can you just look at the derivatives data and tell us any view on jet airways uh, sorry i do not have uh, the screen in front of me so i would not be able to uh, talk about that right do you look at jspl that's a name which is up 30% in the last few days uh, yeah ever since uh, the management uh, did uh, uh, say analyst call uh, the stock has done well most of the metal stocks have done well but this stock was beaten down badly and uh, with the kind of confidence which uh, the mr navin jindal had shown in the recent uh, analyst meet the stock has been re-rated but then the stock has already gone up more than 30 40% over the past few days so i think it should cool down a bit and then one could look at it from a long term point of view could so similar thing happened with reliance infra and uh, reliance defense as well mr anil amani is going to speak to investor today at 5 pm uh, you never know that could be some there is there are expectations of some big bang announcement by uh, mr anil amani when he talks today so that could have a positive impact on both the stocks so they look good but then uh, i like defense as a sector but then from a long term point of view i would not like to go with a company like uh, reliance defense which is fundamentally pretty weak so rather than that i would like to look at a company like a bharat electronics or a beml or from the uh, small cap uh, different stocks i think an astra microwave or a volchan nagar would be uh, uh, better than uh, the reliance defense which you are talking about right any other infra picks if uh, picks if you don't want to go into defense pack Uh, yeah most of the infrastructure stocks also have uh, done well so they are doing well and i think uh, companies from the road construction space they look good i always have been recommending a knr construction uh, pnc infotech and even an irb at the current levels they look good so i think from the infrastructure space one would do well to buy into these road construction companies and the other stuff which one could look at is the hcc which for which there are lots of positive uh, news which are doing the rounds so i think we could see uh, some more upside in hcc so that could also be one of the stocks to look at from the infra space uh, did you mention hcc or ncc hcc i was talking about hindustan construction company hindustan construction the 40 rupees stock yeah 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 right uh, so what will be the target for some of these names you know knr construction hcc uh, they all are slightly longer term than some of the derivatives name that we spoke about earlier Uh, yeah true uh, these are all investment grade stocks and i think in the next say one year or so we could see an upside of 25 to 30% easily in both these stocks both the kna construction and hcc even ncc you were talking about that stock also looks good it's in the fno segment also so i think ncc also would be one of the stocks to look at from the infra space right in terms of uh, you know what's happening as far as uh, telecom space is concerned so on the one hand reliance is doing pretty well but on the other hand do you expect bharti and idea to be under pressure yeah looks like this is a sector which i think would be best avoided idea we have seen a strong rally ever since their uh, the expectations of a merger with uh, vodafone was concerned or which was announced but then nothing has come up uh, the thing it was expected that the vodafone management would uh, announce the details of the merger of, uh, in the last say over the weekend which just went by but then nothing had come up and i think we are witnessing a correction in that stock also but then uh, of the overall uh, the telecom sector does not look good from an investment point of view there could certainly be trading bounce back trading uh, pops which we could see if uh, the idea and vodafone merger happens and if the contours of the deal favor idea then we could see a further upside so that should be it but then uh, no more than that uh, i think there's a lot of competitive intensity in the sector and uh, most of these stocks have a pretty leveraged balance sheet so i think uh, there are ample opportunities in the markets elsewhere so one would do well to avoid telecom sector as of now Thank you so much uh, sir for taking out time for us always good to get a perspective